that's probably the best I've ever done it, that. Hey guys, as I sit down to record this video at the end of the week, I'm just looking back through the footage and realized how much we've done. So the first visitor we had on the bus this week was a girl called Grace. Grace has actually been involved in the process for quite a long time now. I initially posted this video. So the idea with Grace's session was we were going to go in... We were going to go in completely blind, like get to know her and write a song completely from scratch. I've got someone to introduce you to. This is Grace. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog, Grace. Oh my God, look, you can see me there. <laughs> Hiya. This is the thing you've got to do where you don't not meant to look at the screen oh, and you're sorry. meant to look in here But it's really hard to just mm, not very hard. Hello And then you go to another bit though, don't you? Oh. Like that. And then we've got the I swear then. Oh, yes. Sorry. I swear. This is between us and I love you running from love. And just repeat that. And then chorus. Oh yeah. I think because then we're ready for chorus there. Yeah. So then we're seeing you again Saturday? Yes. And Sunday? Yeah. But I think for this one, we need some spoken word. So if anybody knows a good spoken word artist or a rapper, um, let me know. I'm actually going to a rap club tonight with Isaac, wherever Isaac is in the background. If anybody knows anybody, tag them below or just drop their name and I'll find them on Instagram. But Grace, thank you so much for day one. It sounds sick. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got it. Yeah, that's sick. that's sick, that's sick. You get to hear the song like pretty much finished by the end of this vlog, so stick around. So the next guest we had on the bus was Beth. And this time we saw Beth, we were determined to record what we'd written so that when I go off into Europe, I can work on the song and get new musicians on it. That's the plan. Here's a snippet of Beth's beautiful raw vocal as she was actually recording one of the takes that we're going to use. Here now, in a place I know, with my fears locked down, I can breathe. It's not my fault, I know that now, not ashamed of these scars, coming out of the down, I you guys all know Beth from the past however many vlogs we've done. Those of you that are visiting the bus in the future, we need crowds on this. We're doing like a crowdy chorus. So some of you guys might be involved in it. I might do like one of those videos where everyone where people send in their videos of them yes. singing the chorus do it. Oh, and then add them on. The session. Do it. Very nice. Yeah, leave a comment below if you think that would actually be a good idea. Beth, thank you so much for joining. Pleasure. You've been a big part of the tour so far. Thanks and, um, for me. Are you coming back again? Beth, thank you so much for coming. Pleasure. Really great to connect with Beth. We had to cut the session short actually because we got invited to a university called Water Bear. We got invited and guest listed, thanks Jody, to go to a masterclass and network a little bit with Amy Winehouse's old bass player. So that was super exciting. And after that, we prepped again to have Grace back in the bus. I was yours all in. You were everything. You dictate what I'd wear, made the rules as you go. You just got to try and go all right, right on the road. <laughs> I was young and chained. Just a thing you'd claimed. Kept me always in check. And I Bill's Dyke's pretty sick. I love this castle. What do you think of the castle? It's a castle. It's a castle. It's built by <laughs> Street Mystic. So these are lyrics ideas. Oh, come with me. Now, this is Sanskrit. They date back to about a thousand years. What's it stand for? Um, they don't stand for anything. It means um, the, 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 cows of, the cows of the earth. Yeah. I, it, I can't quite translate it properly, but yeah, so that is, I mean, that's history. Right it's good you I don't yet have AdSense. <laughs> Just call you at night and know that 
so good. You just stand there and be like, yeah. <laughs> All the way through, yeah. it's literally. But well, that's a good in that. Grace, you've absolutely smashed that. Bye. Your vocals Gosh. sound incredible. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go for another nature walk. Oh, that's the kid you were talking about flying a kite. Yeah, he's oh, that's going. cute. Ah, oh. yo, it looks so beautiful out of this little window as well. It's making me realise how much of a busy week we've actually had this week. Because after Grace's session, we went to see a guy called Damien Keys the following morning. Um, had a great meeting with him talking about the future of the album. So those of you that don't know Damien, he does music advice. He makes videos almost daily about music advice, tips and tricks of the industry, motivational speaking, really great guy to get to know. And we kind of came on social media at about the same time. Those of you that know BIM, he was a founding member of BIM way back. So we met up with Damien just to chat details really and looking forward as to where we should be maybe thinking, the people we should maybe be speaking to. What did you think about writing an album on the bus for six months when you first heard it? I thought it was amazing. Really? Most people say I'm insane. No, well, yeah, I do think you were insane, but that's <laughs> the best bit. I've been there since way back in the day and loved what, all of the vlog stuff you did, loved all the Instagram stuff when you were doing your kind of like your collabs. And it's been amazing. And this is something where as soon as you said, I was like, wow, this is something where you can properly get your teeth into something. And it's not like an idea. This is like a whole project. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I thought it was completely bonkers. But then you bought the bus and I was like, he's in, he's, he's in. in. Now I can only see so many positive things. Apart from the fact that the album, I can see this is your creative. Which is, you know, anyone watching is probably going to be a creative. You need that creative outlet. Still watching every time you put something out because I'm excited to see it. I'm still part of the whole journey. And I just think one year from now, you are going to be in a very different position than what you are. Right now. We'll find out. Hopefully working together. <laughs> All right, and thanks for my t-shirt. Check this oh, out. You're very welcome. Guys, if you are creative, honestly, Damien will be able to help you. He's got this book, he's got another book coming out soon. I just want to plug this guy because he is really helpful and he's just a good guy with a good grin. <laughs> Damien, thank you. And then alongside all of this, we also have been working with Warner and Modest Management. You guys will know Warner Brothers and Warner Chapel, but Modest Management are a management company that work with people like Little Mix, The Famps, Ollie Murs. And we've been writing with a company called Hookers, and together between Modest Management and Hookers, we've just been doing a lot of writing sessions recently. So this week it's felt very industry-based, and I'm hoping that there's gonna be many conversations with these people at a later date about the album and about how we can push this out, get the best expert minds on the album as we can, just to get the best opportunity for all of you guys that are gonna be on it. Which reminds me, this is what the bank account is saying this week. I have 280 pound in the bank account at the minute. Um, the scary thing is on my credit card, which is what I put all my fuel on, it's about 500 and something. So by the end of this month, I need to have that amount to pay off the fuel and to get more fuel to go into the rest of the country. Uh, what I can see though, is that there's four more t-shirt sales, which is another pretty much a full tank. Not quite, but pretty much a full tank. If you want to help us out on this journey, then a t-shirt will contribute so much towards getting us further than Amsterdam. So those are on the website. I'll link those below. Thank you so much for the comments on this week's video. Austin Welp, thank you very much for your comment about the bus and how to record audio. Really appreciate it. Kayla Pedden, thank you so much for coming over from TikTok. Uh, and of course, I'll always reply to you guys. And George K is actually one of the guys I'm gonna be seeing in Europe. He says, thank you for doing these weekly updates. I can't stress how much it means to me to see how well you're doing and how everything is coming along. Cheers, mate. George, thank you, buddy. Thank you for tuning in. That is it for this week. Next week, I head off into Europe and this becomes a kind of more of a travel vlog, which I'm really excited for. A lot more time on my own, a lot more time for me to share the projects. I'm gonna get in deep with exactly what I'm doing on these recordings and show you some of the techniques I'm doing to now develop them into songs. Leave a comment down below and I will speak to you all at some point this week. Take care, look after each other and remember, never stop creating.